Hey, it's Big Fat here over at NOLA War Gaming, and I have another Ninth Age Battle Report for you. So this time, it is a battle report against the Undying Dynasties of Tiny Fat 23. So he hasn't played Ninth Age in a little while, like me, so uh, I managed to drag him out of his house and convince him to come on down. And that's probably my dogs in the background barking at nothing. Anyway, so... Here's the left flank of his his army. It's just these archers, and oh, it's hoping for a much larger army. But I guess I'll just have to run after the archers with a lot more points. Here's the right side. So most of his stuff is just kind of clustered around this one flank. So I'll have to kind of just surround it and destroy it. You'll see my army in a second. Ugh, oh, ambushers. <laughs> I don't hate ambushers. <laughs> it's just that he uses them really well in this game, and so they drive me nuts. And he goes to the path of evocation, and this is a pretty good lore. It's it's got some a good mix of a uh, of buff spells in addition to that one touch to the reaper. And oftentimes, I really had to choose whether I wanted to really stop the touch of the reaper or stop the casket instead, and because uh, each of them was going to do a little bit of damage. All right, here's my my side of table. This is actually the right side, so the tribes are largely facing off against those one unit of archers that's just going to die as soon as I get there. Um, the rest of my army is probably just going to swing to the left. This time I wanted to try more of the uh, the bombardiers, so I just kind of grabbed a few of them. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when I made this list, I wasn't thinking about the yetis. I really missed the yetis. Um, when I don't have the, uh, the Tusker Cav, um, it's nice to have units like the Yetis that are already, you know, up front and in your face. And, uh, I didn't have them. I just had this one unit of Vanguarding, uh, well, Dog and, and Hunter. Good old Arf. So, turn one, as you might suspect, goes the Undying Dynasties. And this is what Tiny Fat does. <sighs> yep. <laughs> and he just kind of backs up a little bit. Actually, I think he moved up just a tiny bit here. And he moves up a tiny bit there, just so he can get in range. And here's his first magic phase. <sighs> he gets... I, I think this was the uh, resistance spell. He was rolling well this first turn. And uh, <clears throat> um, he's rolling well this first turn, so he got the resist the uh, minus one toughness on him, or minus one uh, uh, resistance, or whatever it's called. And then he hit it with this. Was this the casket? No, this was not the casket. Uh, this must have been touch of the reaper, uh, and he maxed out. And then he rolled well for the casket. I just failed to dispel this first magic phase, and it was a really tough magic phase. Because, yeah, that happened. Um, I would have liked to have the Hunter. He's great, but that was the end of him. So First Blood went to, to Tiny Fat already. His archers were staring down one of my unit's bull. And he just pinged it for a wound. Nah, no big deal. Those guys will be dead at some point. So, there's me. Running forward as fast as I can. Over here... I probably could have run forward a little faster, but I was setting up stuff so that I was trying to draw him forward a lot like I did with uh, um, Big Rig last week. So I was hoping hoping he was just going to blindly charge forward into my units. So there's the the left flank, and they're moving up. And you can see the, the Shoptis are, well, they're, they're well within range of the, those uh, bulls back there. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really just trying to sacrifice him and hope, him, hope to drag him forward towards the, the Giants and maybe the Giants take out the Shoptis. So I'm trying to return the favor. So my shooting guys are aiming at his his Colossus over there. And I managed to ping it for three wounds. He does save one of them now, so it's only two wounds. But, you know, two wounds off that thing is great. It's only got three wounds left. Turn two. Yep, there's the Shoptis going right after those tribes down there. And he gets in. No problem. Ugh. So he gets a couple of units this time. He was actually kind of unlucky with his, his rolls this time. Um, and he just got the unit of bugs and the chariots. <coughs> and chariots plopped down over here. 
and immediately scatter onto the fence. And they take a couple wounds. And over here, the bugs, the bugs bump into uh, to my unit of uh, tribes, but I don't think they actually take any damage as a result. Anyway, uh, he does some shit here. Actually, no, sorry, that was him moving back. And here's the uh, the chariot moving forward a little bit. And here he actually moved backwards. That was what I was confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I should have seen that coming. He's just buying for time, waiting for the rest of his troops to get in position, which is a really good idea. And, and uh, I made the dumb mistake of just putting all this stuff in front of my main troops, and I should have just been plowing forward with my main troops. So, yeah, uh, the uh, the bugs move towards the giants, try to keep the Shoptis from uh, having to get you know double teamed by the giants. So here we go again. That all miscast modifier is nice, mainly because of this. <laughs> so at the time, I didn't notice the that they had the modifiers on the the chart that are plus one and minus one. Uh, it didn't really come into effect. So in this case, uh, Tiny Fat would have avoided. Um, well, actually, he did one hit on this guy, took a beer, which killed one guy. But that that wouldn't have happened if I paid more attention because he would have gotten the, uh, I think the nothing result or, or something or a lower result and uh, nothing would have happened, but yeah, no big deal. You live, you learn. I'm still reading through all the rules. So yeah, that was pretty much all that happened there here. He decided to shoot at my dog. Poor Arf. Arf just took one wound though. He was hoping to kill it right here, but he didn't succeed. Oh, yeah, that was going to happen. Those Shopties are vicious. You know, uh, strength six because they've got halberds and uh, they've got a decent initiative. He got the charge and everything, and they just ripped through those tribes. Ugh. Those things are just a killing machine this game. So he actually ran forward, and he wasn't thinking about it uh, when he did it. He's been playing a lot of uh, Kings of War, so he wasn't thinking about... Um, being able to be uh, overrunning into another unit. So when he did that, uh, he wasn't thinking about me being able to just smash the scarabs into the ground and then overrunning into the Shopties, which I am totally going to do. <laughs> so there's the Gorger. He's heading into that unit. There's a no mark in that unit. I actually didn't realize that when he did it, uh, when I, I declared the charge. I, I might have made this, the charge anyway. But uh, the Kin Eaters don't have a ton. They're not super lethal in combat. I mean, they've got four attacks of strength five. But, uh, you know, there's not there's nothing special about it. So, you know, but the toughness five, they've got the fortitude. Um, <clears throat> you know, they've got that five plus. So they're pretty resilient. Here's that stupid archer unit that's going to die. In goes the Ken Eater. He makes that charge like boss. That was when I found out the No Mark was in there. And uh, man, these guys get some pretty good bonuses for having that No Mark there. Uh, the plus two offense is great. And then uh, I think it's the lethal strike they had as well. So there are the bugs. Yeah, yeah we all know what's going to happen to the bugs. And there's the archers. Hey, little guys. And there's me turning the uh, bump deer to the boomies, as I like to call them. And there's the rest of my army just kind of moving forward. You can see Rocky Barbacoa sitting back there. And I just, I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> I should have been moving that guy forward. And I just left him back there because I am just perennially afraid that he's going to be charged. And I shouldn't. He's got six attacks at strength seven, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe six attacks at strength six. Either way, it's he, he's just going to kill what he gets into anyway. Um, or at least, you know, smaller units like this. And I, I'm just not using them correctly. Here we go again on this side. Uh, I guess that's just the fraglings moving up. They, they kept getting march blocked. Oh, man. Ugh. My deployment was just garbage. <laughs> just looking back on this, I should have had those guys much closer to the general. 
Uh, I don't have a BNB, a BSB in this list, so it's worth noting that you know I can't reroll any of my tests, and uh, I need to. I really need to put one in the game, but I've just been just minimizing the characters a lot so far. So, <laughs> this is where I blasted this unit. I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to knock a couple them off, and it wouldn't matter uh, that the the dog wouldn't be able to chaff him anymore. Instead, I only knocked off one. <laughs> So he just picked it up and said, "Nope, oh, dog's not chaffing me anymore." <laughs> we had a good a good laugh about it. It is pretty funny. <laughs> yep. And I knocked off another wound off that big guy. Yeah, it's two more wounds to go. Anyway, <laughs> there's the archers. <laughs> yeah, it was a short day, but now those bulls have a long trek across the table to get to anything relevant. I mean, granted, these guys are pretty cheap, uh, so it's not like I, I'm losing a lot of points by, you know, putting them over here, but still, he, he definitely put fewer troops over here than I did. And there's them turning to face the actually relevant portion of the table. And there's the candy eater fighting the Nomark. He immediately put two wounds on him. And then picked up a couple wounds on his own. But, uh, I mean, it's fair trade. It's unbreakable. It's not going anywhere. And there go the bugs. Because that was a thing. I took three wounds, though. Those bugs just, just nipped at that poor giant's heels. Ugh. <laughs> but at least I get three extra attacks. And both of them overrun directly into Shopti's. And, uh... Tiny Fat was he was he was laughing about it. He was like, "Oh man, I was. I, hope, I sure hope this doesn't matter. <laughs> it it would have both of the uh, giants would have missed them because I rolled reasonably low on their uh, their overrun, so they both would have missed the shop these. I think they both rolled sevens, and uh, that that was exactly what they needed to get into combat. And turn three. Yeah, so this is when I remember fear is a, a terror is a thing, and it's kind of important because that happened. I didn't want that. I wanted to draw the Colossus forward, but instead I found out that I don't cause fear anymore, or I remembered I didn't cause fear anymore, and I have to worry about these things now. <laughs> so, yes, generals, BSBs, you need that sort of thing. <laughs> And then he redirects into the uh, end of the bruisers, but he doesn't succeed, and he only moves an inch forward. He he just double ones that, but he does charge into the other can eater, and uh, I, I was curious how that was go. I didn't remember that they had poison, and they do, so it does not go very well for my my poor can eater. And over here, he's going to charge into the boomies, and he makes it. So <laughs> the rest of the ambushers finally show up. Both scorpions and that unit of cav. And he places them in my backfield like so. Um, not much I can do about it. I'm hoping just to swing the uh, the, the boomies around and shoot at them. Uh, I do have a musician in both of these units. So I'm just going to turn around, shoot, and hopefully take out a uh, fair number of cav. And this is where they end up or when they scatter. And then he just moves them forward again. The scatter is pretty neat. I, I really like that scatter where it, it goes to 2d6 and it'll just kind of bump into something, take a little bit of damage, and then you can move them um, essentially back to wherever you put them in the first place. That's so much better than, oh, I scatter underneath something, I die or don't show up. So, yeah, what am I showing here? Uh, I guess that's just the, the cab moving around. <sighs> More magic. Oh, I hate this casket. And it takes two wounds off poor Rocky. <laughs> he just keeps nickeling and diming them. And uh, I, I lucked out. I, I probably could have rolled much higher and, and taken damage. Yep. There goes the the king eater. It just took didn't take long. I, I'm not. Sure, I'm not even sure the uh, the king there got the strike. I think the the nomarch he got in there. He's got in there. Uh, killed him. Uh, yeah, the king didn't even get to strike it because he's got a, a, a magical great weapon. But over here, yeah, yeah, Ken Eater versus Nomark, and it was, 
I just ripped him to pieces and he just died. <laughs> they should have been pretty evenly matched. Uh, or actually, the Nomar had a better save, but he just kept failing all his saves, and I just kept rolling the wound. <laughs> so over here, I he did a couple wounds, I did a couple wounds. I actually think I lost combat, but I had a rank, he didn't, so I just hung around. Ugh. So, yeah, those guys... I did a little bit of damage. I did not roll spectacularly. And I don't think he rolled great either, but he just... Just looking at what he needed, um, I realized I didn't give my giants giant clubs. So they were only strength five, so I needed fours and fives. Or sorry, fours and threes. And uh, how many attacks they had? They had five and eight, so 13. So that's seven hits, about four or five wounds, and I think I did four wounds. Um, so I did right on average. Unfortunately, yeah, that's, that's a lot of, of attacks, and he's... You know, uh, offensive weapon skill uh, four and strength six, so threes and threes. So he was hitting me and wounding me, and he just ripped apart uh, one of my giants, and the other giant is not long for this world. Yeah, he actually lost combat and fled. Yep, that did not go well. All right, so it's my turn now. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to combo charge the Pharaoh's unit, uh, hopefully do a fair amount of damage on my uh, mercenaries. They have Swift Stride and Devastating Charge. Um, actually, when I did this, I was I was cursing myself for putting the uh, the Swift Stride on them because uh, I, was, I was like, well, you know, I really wish I'd, they were more lethal in combat right now. Um, but, I mean, I'd also forgotten to give them a champion, and usually I put four in the unit, and I somehow just did, wasn't paying attention when I, I put that unit in my list, and it's not as, as strong as I normally have it. But anyway, so I was cursing the Swift Stride, and then I rolled my, my charge, and I, like, I, I double won the thing. So then, as a result, I remembered I had the Swift Stride through the extra die, and it was a six, and I got in combat. But I wouldn't have if I didn't had I, I hadn't had uh, Swift Stride. So, kudos to me for putting something on there that I didn't really want. <laughs> and they both get in, obviously. Yeah, those guys rallied just to keep Rocky out of the way. Again, I really wish they hadn't have rallied and run through Rocky, and that would have been better. So, yeah. This is going to go bad. I rallied which means he's just going to charge me and just eat that poor giant's lunch. Over here, you can just see the bulls behind the uh, behind the, the tower right there, and they're just trying to sweep around, maybe put some pressure on uh, on his mage or something like that, or maybe get to the skeletons. But, I mean, they're, they're just moving as fast as they can. And this is the right side of the table. You can see the boomies at the bottom. They turned around, but they failed their swift reform. So it's just a normal reform, which means no shooting. Uh, that's not great. Not great at all. <laughs> so here's the right side. There's the, the poor fraggles just slowly moving. This is so slow. <laughs> I, I think that they were still within... I know the ones on the right were still within uh, 8 inches of the Shoptis down there. Just barely. So they just kept moving their little 4 inches apiece. Yep, there's the rest of that chariot. That was not long for this world. And they just turned around. Yep, I killed another skeleton. He's just kind of hanging out. I took another wound for uh, for my trouble. But, you know, whatever. He's doing what he's doing. So here we decided to issue a challenge. <laughs> and uh, he was he was pretty smug, telling me that he was going to kill kill my, my poor Demora. With her 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 uh, Kagadai's Maul, great weapon, enchanted. It's great. The D3 wounds, one of my favorites. And he takes three wounds for his trouble. And I took no wounds his return. <laughs> he actually did two hits to me, and then he declared that he needed twos to wound me, and he double wound it. <laughs> Stared at his dice in disbelief. 
and then declared he was going to kill me next turn. <laughs> Apparently, his was a multi wound since I had the uh, since I had a uh, an Aegis five plus, and because of that, it was going to do two wounds to me, and I would have to reroll my my ward save, uh, which is pretty brutal if you ask me. But uh, it, it it didn't matter there. <laughs> So over here, I mauled the rest of this unit. He's got a few models left. He's got that stupid no mark still there. I dedicated a bunch of attacks to it, and I flubbed all of my hits. Turn four. So yep, Colossus was going in. Uh, I wasn't that worried because it only had a couple wounds left, and I felt like I could kill it off. And uh, then nothing would matter over here. Ugh. This is going to go bad. You know it. I know it. We all know it. This is going to go horribly for me. There's one thing I've learned about the Shopties. They eat giants. <laughs> so, yep, this is going in. Um, I didn't feel too bad about this. I mean, I was getting a lot of attacks, but I, he's getting the charge. He's got the spears, um, or actually lances. And, uh, I mean, it's, I, I was hoping to do a little bit of damage here. Yeah, they obviously both get in. And, uh, yeah, he's just moving the, the cab on the right side, and he's swung his mage out. And he didn't charge... Um, he didn't charge Rocky with his scorpion right here, and he really should have. I'm not sure why he didn't. Uh, he knew, at this point, he did know about, uh, about combo charges and... You know, being able to pursue into a fresh enemy uh, and all that stuff. So he could have done it um, if he had more confidence. I don't think he had a lot of confidence in winning that combat against the Boomies. And I, I was kind of on the fence. I really shouldn't have been looking back on it. This is the Boomies are going to get overwhelmed and they're just going to die. And that Scorpion is going to run into Rocky. And he would have had two Scorpions on Rocky if he'd done this. And I mean, that's eight attacks with poison. And he's only got four wounds left. So. I mean, it's not like you've got great odds at killing Rocky, but this is not, they're not bad odds either. Instead, yep, magic. Ah, oh, there's the casket again. And I kept having to, to think about whether I wanted to stop the augments on his units right now versus the casket. And uh, both the casket and uh, Touch the Reaper. So uh, Touch the Reaper, I it wasn't that I feared it more than the casket. It was that... Uh, I felt that if he was going to do one, he was going to do the other. And uh, I was really worried about the augments most of the time. So I was stopping the augments in this situation. And the casket goes off. And it only knocks off one wound on Rocky. I was really fortunate here. Yep. And then there's my cannon here. He's just eating, eating through the, the skeletons a little bit of time. Not doing a lot of damage, but... Just enough to, to earn his keep right here. He's holding him in place. That's all that matters. Oh, I had such high hopes for these giants. I misused my monsters so badly in this game. I mean, you see, both giants did absolutely nothing. And it's turn four, and Rocky hasn't killed a single thing. So you know you've done something wrong when all of your monsters have, have done nothing in four turns. <laughs> Oh man, so I did a few wounds. He killed off an entire rank of, uh, of boomies. And then he overran them. And the scorpion slammed into the uh, into Rocky. Um, I don't have a lot of faith that scorpion is going to live. Uh, Rocky's just going to turn around and just smash him. And for, uh, for Little Fat's troubles, I murdered his pharaoh. <laughs> I think I did three wounds this time, and then I, I don't know what I did on the D3. I think I did like six wounds or something like that to him. But he, he died really badly. <laughs> he once again hit twice and then double wanted the wounds. <laughs> so he was he was not pleased with it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. We had a good laugh. So I just moved it. I mean, you don't have to put the stuff out there. It just looks nice to take pictures. That's why we did that. Um, so... This is how the end of the combat looked. I killed off the rest of the unit. Just the Nomark is sitting over there. And then I actually lost combat because the Colossus just shredded the bruisers and only took one wound in reply. He's got one wound left. I could not do any damage to him 
with the Bruisers. And yeah, yeah, I need a BSB. <laughs> I really need a BSB. <laughs> this game was just hammering that home, that home over and over again. Oh, and something I need to point out: when we did the first combat, uh, we both forgot about fear, and we did, we took the the, uh, the tests later on to see if I would have failed it, and I would have actually failed the fear tests. Um, but we did it so late, we just said, well, you know, something that we need to remember in the future. He needs to remember his fear test. I need to remember that I don't cause fear. And I definitely need a BSB to be able to reroll results like that. Because fear is, is absolutely devastating. All right, over here. Yeah, going to combo charge all this. Hopefully tip the scales a little bit on those skeletons. Gonna wipe out the stupid calf and get rid of that casket. There we go. Everybody's in. Go little fraggles. Here, I'm, I'm just going. I know I only need one wound left. Just one wound in that stupid colossus. If I can just poke it when, with some, some, some belly rolls. That's all I need. Come on, belly rolls. Yeah, I failed the charge. It was a long charge anyway, but still, I was hoping. And here's the other boomies, and they're just going to wipe out these calf. There we go. Hopefully we'll run into that scorpion, too. So this table looks like... Yep. And almost everything's in combat. Yeah, that Nomark was not long for this world, and he just died. Uh, he, he was not going to stand up that, to that, uh, that, that uh, mercenary. <laughs> I was having a good time pointing out the stats of the Mercenary versus the Nomark. The Nomark stats are pretty, pretty piss poor to be honest. And uh, the, those Mercenaries, they're vicious. Yep, slammed into the back of the Scorpion. Killed the Scorpion. <laughs> and killed some cavalry. And overran in the stupid casket. Finally, can keep it from casting magic at me over and over again. Maybe I can save. Uh, maybe I can save Rocky at this point. And it's turn five. Turn turn four went. It it was a mixed bag. <laughs> Definitely losing that Bruiser unit was terrible. But uh, being able to crush the rest of the of his uh, Necropolis guard, uh, the Nomark, and it looks like I've really turned the tides on the the stupid skeletons. And it looks like I finally got the casket out of commission. So, charged the boomies with his Colossus. I wasn't going to stand for that. I just fled and said, you know, that's fine. You can do that. I'm going to rally, and then I'm going to just get out of the way. He decides to reform and, or sorry, to uh, declare the other charge over the dog, drive the, the dog away. Dog runs because, well, I mean, that's what dogs do. And he just goes after the boomies instead. I mean, he only goes a few inches. Actually, no, I think this one, he actually rolled a double six. And I was really afraid that he was within charge range of the, the boomies as a result. But no, he was a few inches short. And uh, yeah, I was terrified of this. I actually think this is a long charge for him. And he doesn't get it with the Shopties. But yeah, that, that would have been terrifying if they'd gotten into the flank of, of poor Rocky. Rocky would not have survived that. They just would have chomped him into little pieces. And little little bite-sized hamburgers. And my least favorite phase of this game. So, yep, there's his, his mage just chilling over there. Um, and there goes my Mercenary. He hit him with Touch of Death. I, I was trying to stop some of the, the buffs. Uh, I think he actually, yeah, he got a buff off. So he got seven skeletons back in this unit. But that was just rough. Losing the Mercenary and then... Getting a buff on these guys. That was just rough. So yeah, there's the, the scorpion. He put a couple of wounds on uh, on poor Rocky. And then he died. <laughs> that, that was that was all. Rocky just turned and just gorged that, that poor stupid scorpion and it died. And reformed to go right towards that thing. Because that's going to happen. Uh, that Ken Eater who's just been sitting there all game long finally dies. I, I, I thought that guy was going to live forever, but eventually a skeleton just poked him in the eye, and that was the end for him. 
And I, I did a couple of wounds to the uh, to the casket. And it was like four wounds or something. I don't know. It was a it was a few wounds in that thing. And now, yeah, now it's my turn. I am going to wipe out these skeletons once and for all. They have lasted way, way too long. And in goes all of these guys. There's Rocky. He's just going to take out this Colossus, and we're going to be done with this thing. This thing has killed enough of me this game. It's time for it to go. Yep, yep, that's going to happen. I rallied, I turned to face the other direction. I have no idea why I turned to face the other direction. I think to tell myself that I needed to go that way, but he's only got one more turn anyway, so he's going to charge with the shop. He's either going to get there or he's not going to get there because I can't flee. Otherwise, I'm going to run right off the table here. Uh, I guess technically I would get more attacks if I turned around, but... If he gets into combat, he's just gonna he's just gonna murder the, my last unit of boomy, boomies. And that dog, it it ran into the altar and died. So here's the tables look looks like right now. I mean, it, it has been a pretty bloody game. Really, it's it's my core that's holding me down right now because you've got those three units of bulls um, and you've got those two fraggles. And the rest of my army is in shambles. I mean, Rocky's just barely holding on, and the Boomies are just hoping that the Shopties can't get to them. So, yep, here's combat. And he's still got some skeletons left, which means I had to go through another magic phase and hope to get rid of them and hope he doesn't raise them back up. At least the casket was dead. Uh, it did do, I think, two wounds to his priest, but it really didn't do anything after that, like a, a wound or two across the, the other units here. But eh, no, nothing big. It was kind of fun. He rolled a ton of dice, and nothing happened. <laughs> so, yep, that was the end of the Colossus. I hit him with the, the impact hits, and it just mauled him. I overran a little bit, but yeah, that's it. And it's the final turn. So, yep, knew it was coming. It's going to happen. And moment of truth. He made it. Ooh. My poor boomies. <laughs> who I've also misused this whole game. <laughs> I think I shot with these guys once. And the other unit once. So I got two shots off with these guys the entire game. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's magic time. And he raises a bunch of skeletons. We just hadn't put him back up yet when I took this picture. I think it was a reroll to hit is what he got here. And uh, then he made a decision where he was just going to roll. Uh, he actually rolled five dice here, not four dice. Uh, he picked one of them up. But he rolled triple sixes on this miscast. And his wizard immediately died. <laughs> Uh, we didn't know it at the time, um, but he actually rolled, because he rolled the triple sixes um, with the five dice, he actually would have, I think, immediately died because it was the, if you're higher than six, you know, you, you'd get sucked into the uh, end of the veil. But uh, we, we did the actual damage to it, the D3 strength 10, and it, that killed him off instead. <laughs> but when we were talking about it, he'd reasoned that uh, sacrificing the, uh, the priest to kill poor Rocky Barbacoa was well, well worth the sacrifice. Uh, I think Rocky was like a uh, hundred points more than the priest, so he was willing to trade one for the other. And I can't, I, I can't argue with that logic. I mean, my creature was more expensive than his wizard, so it worked out for him. Um, yep. Over here, I got rid of those skeletons. Uh, yeah, that felt that felt nice. It took a long time to get rid of them, but I finally got rid of them. Over here, yeah, the boomies, they were dead. I mean, he just, he, he killed them all. He didn't chase them down or nothing. He just murdered them all. And here's the result of the game. It was only a 300 point difference. And so, as a result, it was a draw. And we're, we're not doing the uh, the 20-nil 20, uh, 20 system. We were just looking for 
you know, simple, simple win conditions. That, we'll start moving towards that in the future. But right now, this is what we're looking at. In the future, we'll, we'll do some of the secondary objectives and things like that that add a lot to this game. But right now, we're really just trying to get back into the game. So we're, we're looking at little bits and pieces of the rules as we go. Um, takeaways in this game. Yeah. Um, don't horribly waste your monsters like me. I, I hope all of you are paying close attention on how to do the exact opposite of what I did. <laughs> don't put them in the back. Don't put them behind other troops. <laughs> um, don't be afraid to get them involved. They, they, they're not that squishy. <laughs> Also, don't forget to give your ogres ogre clubs because strength six is way better than strength five. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't state enough like how badly I misused Rocky Barbacoa. I mean, he killed a couple of scorpions and he did get that Colossus. I mean, I should have gotten that Colossus earlier, but it was just cleanup duty. I mean, he didn't get any any real he didn't do any real big damage. Um, not having the Yetis that hurt a lot. After I put the list on the table, I realized I, I hadn't included any. And I really like Yetis. Um, having those things, being able to deploy further uh, with the Vanguard all the way up, uh, it just draws people in. And even though I feel like they can't, I'm, I'm really just sacrificing them, and they're kind of an expensive sacrifice to do that, that too, it draws the army forward. Um, and they do kick up a little bit of damage as they go. Because, I mean, they've got some very good, uh, they've got a very good agility. So, yep, that was the battle report. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Later.